Hello everybody, Smyrna Cowboy here. How y'all doing today? Today is May 28th, 2022 at 8.44 in the morning. Thought I'd give you an update on my uh, cardiologist report. Everything really looks good. She wants me to go to a hematologist just because of the eloquence that I'm having to take and make sure that it's level, whatever, fine, whatever. So. And uh, so I was able to contact my orthopedic surgeon so I can wean myself off the boot, the lovely, lovely walking boot. This boot was made for walking. <laughs> yeah, okay, you try to walk in it. And uh, <clears throat> so I can wean myself off there, and the PT order was put in. Now, whether Workman's Comp, in their ultimate wisdom, will approve that so I can get started on my PT, that will soon see. But... Regardless, if I uh, don't hear anything by Monday, I'm starting it on my own. I mean, I've done it like a bunch of times, so if they're not going to do it, then I'll just have to, you know. So it is what it is. So there, there you go. So if I'm going to start it, then it'll be six weeks before I can uh, go ahead and... Uh, uh, ride as well you know really depends on my pro on my progress and stuff like that so we'll see I've been off the uh, hydrocodone or oxycodone or codicodicodone for three weeks now I guess it's been so uh, you know I don't have to worry about that as far as my mental impairment because of the drugs <laughs> uh, so I don't have to worry about that and uh, so, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it progresses and, and stuff like that. So we'll see what we'll see. And uh, so I'm really getting fired up and uh, wanting to get this stuff, get it, get it done. I mean, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to get on the bike, ready to go on my truck, ready to drive my own car. <clears throat> For people that don't know, <clears throat> It takes away your independence that you can't drive. Um, especially me, because I'm a very independent person that I like to do stuff on my own and do my own my own thing. And it's been since October of last year, and uh, it's been a very very long and hard road. And of course, when I had the saddle PE and died and come back and all that good stuff. So it's been a long road since October. It's been a long road since last March when the burn happened. Um, after all this is said and done, I will make a video explaining to you what happened. I'm not at liberty to say right now because it's still under investigation. So uh, I'll explain to you exactly what happened and maybe by then I'll know what the cause of the burn was. Like I said, this is still under investigation as far as I know. I can't find out any information. Even went on OSHA site and couldn't find out any information on the report. But like I said, when all this is said and done and everything is squared away, then I will do a video and let you know exactly what happened. But until then, you just have to use your vivid imagination. <laughs> uh, just look at it this way. Working, and then boom, and then uh, the end. So, there you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that'll be coming out, hopefully, uh, maybe, uh, shoot, who knows, next year maybe. I don't know. But, any hoot, uh, so that's it. That's all the uh, update that I got for right now. Um, unless something catastrophic happens or uh, I get a topic that I want to do a video reply to, uh, then you probably won't be hearing that much from me as far as videos go, except for mail call. If I get enough, some more stickers for mail call, then I'll do a mail call video. But uh, besides that, um, like I say, unless there's a uh, topic that I really want to comment on and uh, video reply because you know sometimes in videos if they throw a question out there it's just hard to do it in the reply box on YouTube because you know what I want to say I can say it a lot better 
in front of the camera than I can on the in front of the keyboard. So, um, but until then, hopefully in six to eight weeks, I will be able to ride, and you will go with me on my first ride back. Of course, you will. Of course. And uh, so, that's all I got for right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So, uh, oh, and uh, one other thing. Uh, let's take a moment and stop and remember what Memorial Day is all about for the people that have given their lives in, uh, in, our, in our armed services over the years and stuff and just uh, say a silent prayer for them and uh, a big hearty thank you for giving their lives and the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom of our country. So, all right, that's it. That's all I got. This is the Smyrna Cowboy here. Of course, in Pappy's Place, here in Smyrna, Tennessee, wishing you and yours a good day. And until next time, adios.